Hi Pisces, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Sagittarius, Leo here twice, and with the world can be a fixed sign for sure. But regardless, strong intellectual bond, which I was actually getting for Cancer here. You really like the way this person communicates. They're very charming, good with their words, quick on their feet. And someone who's well educated or just, you know, street smart, something about their intelligence you really like. When you meet them, depends on where you're at here um, on your journey, but some of you may meet them when they're not the most stable. Um, they're still perhaps looking for a job or they're uncertain of what they want to do here in terms of the material or just their career, you know, material world or career, you will see the transformation um, this person goes through when it comes to their finances. And you'll really like how dedicated they are to their goals. And this is also someone who's not afraid of starting from scratch, you know, getting back to the basics. They're, some of them may do something that, you know, physical labor that involves their hands and getting their hands dirty, that is coming through for some of you. So I'm getting, you know, it can be a mechanic. These are just examples. They may be required to be physically fit for whatever job they're doing. I'm getting a really strong, sturdy energy person, likely someone who does work out. They take care of their body and what they consume. This may start off as a friendship where one of you may not see the other person as a potential suitor or an opportunity and from friends and all of a sudden you're seeing this person from a new lens there you have a different perspective. Some of you this may even be a childhood friend. But once you're committed to this person, one thing you'll really like about them is they have a way of cheering you up. So if you're, you know, feeling bored or moodiness here is coming through they'll be very supportive if you're a woman and you're going through that time you know what i'm talking about um they'll be very encouraging and supportive in those times but just in general um there can be a tendency to be moody here and this person will help you um, balance your emotions out if that's possible um, just cheering you up and giving you a different perspective on things It'll be a voice of reason, king of swords. They're good with their words, so they'll be uplifting and encouraging with their words, words of affirmation. You know, one day you're not feeling the best about yourself. There's compliments here. This person's extremely sensitive um, to your moods and how you're feeling. And they have a way of just brightening your day. I don't know what they do, but they, they're really, you know, cracking a joke. It's like you had a bad day with a coworker and you know, you come home, you see this person and drastic shift here. You're feeling better. Maybe they're giving you a glass of wine. I don't know. We have the drinks here. But you feel like this person brings a lot of joy, luck your way. I'm seeing a very fortunate couple here with Sagittarius back to back. You really like this person's sense. You have a similar sense of humor is what I'm getting. So what this person finds amusing, funny, you'll enjoy you know, the same things. You'll laugh at the same things. I'm, I'm getting a lot of inside jokes here coming through. You like how capable this person is as well. I was talking about them being highly learned. They know a lot. This is someone who likely follows the news. They're just up to date on a variety of topics. So you can really come to them about anything. They're good at, they're a great listener, but they're also a good advisor. So I see you coming to them, you know, and just see you bouncing ideas off of one. You really respect this person's intelligence and the way they think. But yeah, you think this person has it all, a magician, a know-it-all. Um, I don't think they feel that way. They're very humble, but you may feel like, wow, this person knows everything. How do you... And they have a great memory is what I'm getting. And they're very meticulous, so they pay attention to details. And that will be very impressive to you.
They likely were a good student when they were in school. I'm also picking up, this is really weird, I'm just giving you random details. You may both like going to the theater or watching movies together, or documentaries that is coming through. But you think this person has it all with the magician, right? We have the emotional connection, we have the intellectual bond, we have the passion with the wands, and we also have financial security. This person's extremely hardworking. I'm not sure, you know, that they're wealthy or... I mean, they're very lucky, so there is a strong possibility they may well be, but more so I'm just getting someone who's capable and they will work their way up the ladder if they, if they aren't there when you meet. Some of them may even be juggling, you know, two jobs, but I'm also getting a work-life balance here. So I don't see a workaholic or, you know, someone who's not giving you enough time. They, they know. They know what their priorities are and they have a good balance going for them. This person may be in a field that is very competitive. Whatever they do for a living I'm getting, they've worked their way up or they will be once you meet. Because I'm seeing someone who's being recognized. Because world is celebration, can be graduations. Some of you may even watch this person graduate from university or something. But yeah, they're very capable and they're on top of their game here, seven of wands. This person's very confident. Sun is something you like about them. I'm getting someone who knows themselves. They're self-assured. And they're not afraid of putting people in their place here. I got King of Swords for a lot of, I think you and another water sign, which was interesting. But yeah, they're, they're very stubborn when it comes to their beliefs and they won't back down. They're extremely strong-willed, strong-minded here. Another thing you really like about them is how mysterious they are. With you, they come across as very stable, like nothing really bothers them, phases them. They're hard to read, and there's something about that that you really find intriguing. Something about how this person deals with emotions. They feel like they always have it together. So sometimes it may be annoying if you're wanting them to be open up, say they're having a difficult day at work, right? I think you'd like this person to be more expressive, but this is more so what you like about them. They're emotionally very controlled. So you won't see this person throwing temper tantrums or creating a scene. I'm getting a very proper energy. If you deal with any insecurities or negative self-talk, you know, we can all go through those phases. Again, that uplifting energy is coming through. This person will also be very encouraging and supportive of the work you do, whatever you do for a living, your passion projects, your creativity. This is like your biggest fan. I'm seeing compliments with the Sun Six of Cups. Very uplifting. You can do it. You have faith in yourself because this person's very confident in their skin, right? So they'll want you to feel the same way. I'm getting Sun and Mercury. Yeah, very strong communication here between the both of you. This person's coming through as more masculine regardless of your gender here, Pisces. We have consequences intimidation, fear, assistance. So this, to me, assistance and fear, I mean, this is like your 4 a.m. friend, 2 a.m. friend. So if your car breaks down somewhere, you know who to call. This person is reliable, they'll be there, right? Assistance, you just need to call out to them, they'll be there for you. They have your back. And I'm also getting with the Eight of Swords, if there's some insecurities, um, some fears here, this person will help you sort of step out of your comfort zone and confront your fears and maybe you'll try things with this person that you haven't before. So they're really shaking things up for you. You like that this person won't. This is not the type of person, if they feel you're wrong, they'll let you know, right? I don't see them being 
biased. So you'll like that. You like that this person is fair. So if you're wrong, they'll let you know. You know, you went wrong there or I didn't like that. So you won't have to guess. If something's bothering them, they'll let you know. Um, but this is someone who likely, you know, any disagreements, they'll like to communicate with you. Rather than let that resentment build is what I'm getting. So you really like that intimidation. This came through for Scorpio as well. Um, King of Swords can be like that, Pisces. A little bit hard to approach, hard to read. So you like how this person is initially guarded, especially emotionally guarded. King of Swords, Four of Cups, arms crossed. Um, they don't let a lot of people close to them. They may initially, when you meet them, come across as a bit superficial. You know, chit chat, talking about the weather, nothing too deep. And then once you get to know them, you'll be like, whoa, because we have Sun and Scorpio, right? This person comes across as a bit aloof, detached when you meet them. Like they don't care, but they do. They're just hard to read <laughs> and they don't like to show emotions. We have good vibration here. Positive vibes, upliftment, resonance. I'm also getting this person will be a good parent. We have 47, good vibration, positive vibes, upliftment, resonance. I mentioned that. Uplifting with their words. And if you're having a bad day, this is the person you want around you, right? And they're just a good person. So they have a positive vibration. And as a result, when you're around them, you're in their energy. They raise your vibration as well. 72, divine feminine, yin, feminine values, maternal energy. Something about children and mothering is coming through. This person can be extremely nurturing when it comes to you. They're romantic, you know. At heart, they're really romantic. Um, despite their King of Swords intimidating exterior, they'll be very soft, sensitive when it comes to you and how they handle you with care. You'll really like that. Especially if you're going through some challenges when it comes to your physical health or just health in general, whatever, they'll be there for you. Rush again to help you. And they have that good balance. I was getting a more masculine energy, but, energy, but it's a good balance between feminine and masculine within them. But I definitely children are coming through. We have fungi funeral, 13, moderation, sobriety, healthy choices. I'm getting a healthy lifestyle. Um, you know, if you, this person will help you. They'll want to work out with you. If you are into a healthier lifestyle, eating, you know, clean, all that. This is a very encouraging energy to have around you. But I see you both eating clean, working out. Just, you believe in living a healthy lifestyle together. And I see you making a lot of changes in your diet or just your day to day for the positive as a result of your union. If someone has addictions here, just an example, not getting strong reference to any toxicity, um, one of you may help the other person get out of that. Just your presence will be healing. What will Pisces find attractive about their person? Let's see. Let's get a few from this deck. Cynicism. This may be another case of opposites attract. I think day to day they can be cynical, a little bit dry. But with you, there you see a different side to them. Seeing this is more so before they meet you and how they interact with others is a bit cold, calculated. But with you, it's the opposite we have yeah with you it's more playful you bring out the side in them and this person will be very active and present in your child's life i keep seeing children here right taking them to the playground they'll be very involved and family trips i see that but also very playful bond with you here i see you planning small adventures maybe you like summer vacations boating all that outdoors energy coming through 
hiking, whatever you enjoy. But I see you going to fairs, rules. What will Pisces find attractive about their person? One more for you, Pisces. Let's take that doubt. Rules. Yeah, they're very guarded, and this person's extremely picky in regards to who they choose, who they let in. You like that. Someone who has high standards, but you meet all their standards, and you like how disciplined they are with the rules. They like to do things in moderation, say drinking, you know, shopping, everything. There's a good balance here with the Two of Pentacles. You like that. They make wise decisions, and we also have salvage. Yeah. Do you? I didn't even see that, but she's. We have a risky, so a difficult situation, um, and he's coming in to save her with salvage. So yeah, if you get yourself in some not so pleasant situations, this person will be there for you and your family to assist you to help you. This person doesn't um, jump into situations without thought, and you really like that. You like how thoughtful they are. They really like to go over, you know, certain things in their mind before they come to a conclusion. That has to do with that fairness energy I was getting. And even making any decisions, weighing the pros and cons, really thinking through things, paying attention to the details, reading the fine print. You can trust this person's decision-making, is what I feel. Dark hair and eyes, so you may really like their hair and eyes. What will Pisces? Angelic. I was getting that for a few signs, but yeah. Knight in shining armor, but yeah, you'll feel there's something angelic about this person. They may be a social butterfly. We have meeting online, ooh, long distance lover, meeting online, social butterfly. More of that Gemini energy coming through. So they may like to socialize and take you out. Yeah, something about their health, wasn't I telling you? Emotionally guarded, but not with you. Um, with the sixth house, I'm also getting, again, the healthy choices, some changes to your lifestyle here for the better self-development is coming to mind with that but six us talks about you know our day-to-day -day, our co-workers our physical mental emotional health so these are areas where you'll see drastic improvements we have financially stable so if you're there's some financial issues this person can be um, providing you with a different perspective point of view really helping you um, see new possibilities here with the seven of cups but yeah, they'll be financially stable and you can rely on them. They're honest. King of Swords. You really appreciate this person's honesty, even if it's difficult to hear. You know you can count on them for the truth. To tell the truth, we have fun. <laughs> yeah, we had play and then we had fun. This will be a very playful connection. And you just really like to be around this person. You enjoy each other's company. And this person... We have irresponsible. This is something you like about them, but you like how they can let their hair down. They're always serious in their day-to-day, -day, but with you, yeah. At home, you'll see a different version of them. Someone who's just a lot of fun to be around. I don't have much to add to that. And we have when you least expect it. Which I... Some of you, this person may have lost a spouse, and they can be spiritual. We have soulmate and spiritual here. So that may be something, or you may have lost a spouse. But I forgot to mention this. Wheel of Fortune, this meeting will be unexpected. It's when you, you're not paying attention and this person comes in, it's divinely guided. There's fate involved here. I felt that with Miracle here as well, bottom deck. Healing, answered prayers, remission. So someone you've been praying for. That is who you will end up with. 
This has been coming through for every um, sign so far. Mixed color eyes. So something about their eye color or just the something distinctive about their eyes. We have animated eyes. Interesting. So their eyes will be very expressive. What will Pisces find attractive? Not too many. Sharp face. So this person has sharp features. Yeah, and with the animated eyes, it's very... The cheekbones, the nose, very defined. Ooh, your person seems very handsome, very beautiful. We have Australian. Some of you, your person may be Australian. What will Pisces find attractive about their person? Younger than you, so there may be an age difference. We have piercings, specifically nose piercing coming through, but they may have some sort of piercings that you really like. They come through as a little bit dangerous with that intimidation consequences, right? We have skinny and we have facial hair with man. Yeah, if you're asking about a man, we had that come through together, man and facial hair. We have white American. So you may like, we have straight hair, which is interesting. All the figures mostly have straight hair. We have black clothing. So you may like them in dark, darker colors or just solid colors. We have a witch, which is interesting with quincunx, the numinous and spiritual. They may be into tarot and you know, the occult or all those things. We have tall. You'll really like that they're tall. They may have some sort of marking or beauty mark, which you'll like. We have braids and brunette. So for hairs, we have white, gray, blonde. We actually have different colors when it comes to hair. And they may be, we have dark skin and glasses. So some of them may wear glasses and you like that. They're extremely organized on a day-to-day -day basis, so you won't see this person showing up late for work. I'm getting that. And they, they're quite clean. Cleanliness is important to them. I am not taking that. What advice do you have for Pisces in regards to their person? Anything you want to tell them right now? Three is a crowd. Are you a part of a three third party situation? They're saying don't wait for someone to choose you. I'm telling you, there's a new, if you've been part of a third party, they're wanting you to remove yourself and focus on self care. But you may work out with this person. I was getting something about lifestyle or healthier choices, whatever that is. Some of you may meet this person while working out. But they're saying it's time to shape up, work out, eat well, and sleep well. You'll thank me later once you start to see the rewards of your hard work. So if you're going through some difficulties here with whatever this third party is, ground your energy and you can do that by working out. And there's a new love offer. With Spellbound, you've been manifesting this. Wow, a new love offer is on the horizon. Keep an open mind. It's the only way you can explore, create, and grow. Progress is impossible without change. Wheel of fortune. Don't resist this change, is what they're saying. I love this. This is a new love offer here. Faith. And divine portal. Yeah, you need to have faith in the universe. Have faith in the universe. Let it impress you with its magic. Enjoy the beautiful journey. You don't see this coming. You don't. And we have happiness and fertility. Um, I see prosperity here as a result of this union. A happier cycle here coming in, but also fertility. If you're a childbearing age, if you're worried that you won't have children or you're running out of time, they're saying you will, if that is what you're manifesting. Miracle and faith. Wow. There's something beautiful um, in the future for you. Have faith, don't give up. 
there it's coming and it's beautiful it's exactly what you've wanted this is a beautiful person that i'm picking up on here but yes pisces i think that is what i have for you take care of yourself and i'll see you next week bye